Keyboards serve as one of the most fundamental input devices in a computer system. They are used to input characters, such as letters, numbers, and symbols, into your computer. They can also be used to execute commands for the computer through keyboard shortcuts and function keys. There are plenty of different types of keyboards, but one of the most popular of these is the mechanical keyboard. Mechanical keyboards have individual mechanical switches under each keycap, hence the name. They are known to be more durable, precise, and ergonomic than other types of keyboards. Generally, Mechanical keyboards are also known to just feel better than other keyboards, though this is subjective. Another edge that mechanical keyboards have is that they're easily customizable, from the keycaps, switches, layout, and even the backlights. All these benefits that mechanical keyboards offer may explain the growing number of mechanical keyboard enthusiasts from gamers and software developers, to even just any person who spends a significant amount of time using their computer. Like most innovations, a number of people contributed to the development of the modern-day keyboard through the years. The invention of the typewriter is one of the main things that paved the way for the keyboard we know today. So many different models were developed, which is why there are so many different kinds of typing instruments throughout history. Let's look at some of the most notable of these inventions. The first typewriter was patented in 1714 by Henry Mill, a waterworks engineer. This patent was more of a proposal rather than an actual invention, which is why only very little is known about it. The Scholz and Glidden typewriter is known to be the first commercially successful typewriter. It was invented and patented in 1868 by Christopher Latham Scholz and Carlos Glidden. This typewriter was also the first to integrate the QWERTY keyboard layout, which was designed by Scholz. Due to this typewriter's success, the QWERTY layout had been adopted by other manufacturers of early typewriters. Various models of the typewriter continued to be developed throughout the years, until a standardized design was reached by around 1910. There were still small differences between models, but essentially, the layout and mechanism used were still the same. Typewriters continued to be popular around the 1950s to 1970s. So, when and how exactly did people start using typewriters alongside computers? This is where the teletype comes in. The teletype, also known as a teleprinter, is a device used to send and receive typed messages. One of its components is a keyboard similar to a typewriter, which was used to input data into the computer. The response would be printed on a paper output. As these teletypes were connected to actual computers, Messages could be sent across multiple units through various networks, such as wires, radio transmissions, telephone lines, and more. The teletype was quite popular for some time, but it had some downsides. Apart from being loud and slow, it also used up lots of paper. To solve this problem, some manufacturers introduced glass teletypes in the 1960s. Here, Paper was substituted for electronic cathode ray tubes as the display device. These devices further evolved into computer terminals, which are electronic or electromechanical hardware devices used to input and output typed data to and from computers. By the late 1970s, all computers had adopted video display terminals and electric keyboards, which were all built into the computers. As time passed and as computers became more and more popular, a number of companies continued to manufacture computers with built-in keyboards. This set the standard that keyboards were the main input devices for computers. 
Now let's move on to the invention that really influenced the design for modern day keyboards. This invention is the IBM Model M keyboard. It was released in 1981 as part of IBM's first computer. But unlike other computers from that period, the IBM had a separate keyboard. The Model M keyboard is also known to be one of the first mechanical keyboards. Due to its popularity and success, other manufacturers used it as a basis to design their own keyboards, imitating the Model M's layout and ergonomic aspects. This is also when mechanical keyboards started to become a little more customizable. In the late 1980s, IBM released other color variations for their Model M keyboards. Keytop expanders were also introduced, which are similar to present-day keycaps, except that these expanders were placed on top of keys using an adhesive in order to maximize the surface area of certain keys. So they weren't exactly for aesthetic purposes. As time passed, different types of keyboards continued to be developed. Membrane keyboards, laser keyboards, and much more. Nowadays, there are so many different variations of keyboards in terms of shapes, sizes, aesthetics, and mechanisms. But all these new inventions are thanks to innovations that have been developed through the course of history. The typewriter, teleprinter, computer terminal, and of course, the Model M keyboard. Let's have a look at what this invention has brought to society. The most obvious contribution is the ease it has brought to recording or taking notes. With the usual pen and paper, the average writing speed is 40 letters per minute. With the keyboard, the average typing speed is 40 words per minute. Next, as previously mentioned, Another importance of keyboards is for operation of the computer through keyboard shortcuts and function keys. Next, we have ease of writing and word processing. Since the age of the typewriter, up until the modern mechanical keyboard, we have been able to minimize the time and expense involved in creating documents, leading to a spread in systematic management. Keyboards have also brought ease of communication, especially for online exchanges, such as texts, emails, and messages. Gaming experience is also greatly enhanced with the mechanical keyboard. Most gamers prefer this type of keyboard as it is faster, more durable, and more precise than others. Lastly, mechanical keyboards have opened up new jobs in the market as more and more people are getting into the community dedicated to the trade, maintenance, and customization of mechanical keyboards. Most mechanical keyboard enthusiasts would say that once you start getting into the world of mechanical keyboards, there's no going back. In the Philippines, more and more people have started to get into the rabbit hole of mechanical keyboards, especially now in the time of lockdown. Because of online classes or the work-from-home setting, a lot of people have started devoting more time and effort into upgrading or beautifying their setups, of which the keyboard is one of the staples. As people spend more time in front of the computer, they'd want to make sure that their setup is as comfortable and customized for their needs as possible.